Welcome back everyone. So Iron Bootable CD is the first aid tool that every computer user must have on a USB. And resetting or removing the Windows password is one of the many things that an Iron Bootable USB can do. In this video, I will be showing you that how you can easily remove or reset Windows password on Windows 10 and Windows 11. So without any delay, let's quickly get started. And before you starting guys make sure that you hit the like subscribe as it will not cost you anything but will surely help me to bring more valuable videos for you you can also join my membership where you can live chat with me to fix any of your pc and laptop problem so right now you can see that i'm stuck on the login screen of my windows 11 i don't remember the password and nothing else is working for me so what you will have to do you just need to manage any other laptop or pc where you can create a iron bootable usb and it's always recommended that you should keep this usb because many times it happens that you have only one device you don't have any other alternate computer where you can create a bootable usb okay so this time you manage any other computer but from the next time whenever you forget it you can easily use that bootable usb to reset the password okay so right now i am on a different device and i have connected my pen drive the bootable usb and it should be of at least 8 gigabyte once you have connected now you need to bring up any of your favorite browser and in the search you have to type ventoy then you will have to click on the first link of ventoy.net click on download from the top menu options and then you have to click on the first link ventoy 1.097 windows zip click on it and then it will redirect you to the source forge page and here you have to click on download latest version again and quickly the downloading will be started and once it get downloaded open the downloaded folder right click on it click on extract all click on extract once extracted you will be getting the ventoy folder double click on it and here you will find ventoy to disk.exe right click on it click run as admin click on yes and this kind of simple dashboard of ventoy will be coming up now here from the top device section you have to click on the drop down and select the right usb that you want to make iron bootable usb select it then you just need to click on install click on yes and make sure that you don't have any kind of data inside that pen drive inside that usb because everything will be wiped out so take the data back up first in case if you have any data and then come back to this page click on yes and it will take few seconds only and it will create a ventoy usb so meanwhile what you have to do again you have to bring up your browser open up a new tab search for iron click on the first link of ironbootcd.org and you can see that ventoy usb has been completed so you can click on ok and now you can close the ventoy dashboard all right so again come back to the iron bootable page click on download from the top menu option and here you have to scroll down and here in the file name on the right of it you will be getting hbcdpx64.iso so just click on it and the downloading will be started and it's around 3.1 gigabytes so it will take some time so wait until the downloading is being completed all right so once iron iso has been downloaded just make a right click on it click on copy then go back to the usb that you have created a ventoy usb open it and paste the iron iso over there and once pasted it now you're good to go now you can plug out this usb from this computer and plug into that computer where you have forget your windows login password so let me quickly connect it and once you have connected now you need to restart the computer and the next time when the computer get restarted you need to tap the bios key to change the boot priority order so that it can boot with that particular usb so go and restart the computer and then you need to tap the bios key to change the boot priority order select your usb hit the enter key and this time the ventoy page will be coming up and here you will find the iron iso that you have pasted in the ventoy usb so select the hbcd hit the enter key then select boot in normal mode again hit the enter key 
and now it will start loading the file and it may take about one or two minutes so you will have to wait until it's all been done And bingo, so once it will be booted, you will find this kind of dashboard of iron bootable USB that looks very similar like Windows 10. Okay, so now here what you have to do, click on the Windows icon at the left hand corner. Click on all programs. Then over up on security. And in security, you have to hold up on password. And then you need to click on Windows login unlocker. Just click on it. And this kind of Windows login unlocker dashboard will be up. Now here it will display all kind of your user account which are being created on your computer and here you get different options like you can restore, you can backup or you can even create a new user in case if you don't want to continue with the old user account. But if you want to go only with the old account then you have to select from the list here like mine one was testing PC so I have to make a right click on it. Now here I can either disable the user, I can reset the password or I can change the password or even I can delete the user. So if you don't want any kind of password, then you can go ahead and click on reset password. If you want to change the password, then you can go with the change password. I will click on reset password. Click on OK. And the password has been reset. So I will click on OK. And now I will close it. And now go ahead and just restart the computer. So this time when the computer get restarted, now you can see that it's not asking you for any kind of password. I can simply click on sign in and it will take me to the dashboard to the desktop. So now you are good to go and you will not be losing any kind of data or anything. And now this USB will be helping you in the future whenever you forget your password and not only with the password with many more utilities tool and features. So that's all guys for today. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If yes, do not forget to like and subscribe and I see you in the next video. Bye bye.